Yo everyone, it's Darman and welcome to Yu-Gi-Oh! Duel Links. This game just came out on iOS and Android yesterday, uh, but it's been out in Japan and Australia for the past month and a half, and I've been playing it. Uh, I'm on my personal account right now, but in future videos I'll probably be making a, a brand new account and going over everything from beginning to end. But right now I kind of want to go over what this game's all about and some tips and tricks and whatever you guys want to know. I did a little Reddit Amma and just answered some fun questions and whatnot and helping out some other newcomers. And uh, I'll put a link in the description to the subreddit and also I'm, gonna, I'm just going to go over some stuff. So this hub world, we got four places. We got the gate, we got the PvP arena, which I don't know, it should probably be called the duel arena, PvP arena, and then you got the shop, why are they called the PvP arena? And then the card studio. So it's kind of wonky because I'm, I'm looking at the camera, but I'm also looking at my phone. But if I'm smart enough, I can kind of use my capture screen on my computer. It's probably best if I try and do that. But let's go over one by one what we're doing here. So in this game, it's Yu-Gi-Oh. You're, you're dueling basically, but you need to get good cards. You need to you need to practice, and you need to you need to level up. So in the missions, basically you have you have special missions which could take take anywhere to a couple days to a couple hours, and then you have normal ones, which usually can be, excuse me, could usually be grinded out. I'm feeling a little burpy. Uh, this also is my third time trying to record this. I'm a I'm really good at this recording on a phone, but as you can see, I gotta get 55 dual world duels. I just call them world duels because it's real redundant to be dual world duels, but it's just me. And this isn't really the episode that I'm gonna be talking about all the the mission, how to fast level up and all that stuff. This is more what you're gonna be doing in this game. So here we have the dual school. Now, a lot of people in the AMA asked me, how do we get gems? How do I get gems quick and stuff like that? And I wanna say, besides leveling up, go to the dual school. I've already completed them all because I'm a filthy farmer, but each one of these levels, they give you like 10 to 15, maybe even 30 gems on the, the later levels. I can't honestly remember, but there's a lot to do here and, and you can get a lot of gems by just doing this. It's pretty, pretty awesome. And someone also asked like a quick way to get gold. If you go to the loner deck duels, which I only have seven green keys, but like every other day, it seems to me, you can get 5,000 gold as a reward, which is super awesome. That's, that's a good way to get gold. On, on the ground, we do have the duelists of the world, of the duel world, of the world of the dueling. And that's your basic NPC. You're gonna go against them, you're gonna get some quick level ups, and you're gonna try out your deck against theirs. You got these exclamation points also, and they just give you free consumables, keys, they give you gold sometimes. Um, I guess I could go also that if you touch the fountain, you have a chance of getting consumables if you touch the lamp posts, I believe. Yep, you get some stuff. If you go, oh, I should go. Don't get ahead of yourself, Darman. The PvP arena, we'll, get, we'll, we'll keep up with it, just hold on. You got dual replays, which I'm not a big fan of. It's basically you watch some people play and you don't even watch your own duels which I thought was what you could do it's pretty awesome but I don't really use dual re replays you got friend duels which if you add me which I'll show my name later you can I'll duel you I mean I'll wipe wipe the floor with you maybe I'm not that good D don't 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 believe me I'm not that good and then you got ranked duels of course which I haven't done duels since December because I'm a filthy casual and I'm done with PvP I got the top rank I'm done I don't need to do it anymore with the shop area let me let me just take a breath for a second with this you can touch the top of the shop and you can get balloons and if it has a little present then you sometimes get a gift so this area is probably where a lot of people will be spending their time with questions and and what they're going to be doing at the beginning of their time playing this so let's let's not go to him yet let's go you're first going to be going to the shop obviously because that's what the gems are for and now we have this huge lineup of packs that you can open up from. The Ultimate Rising, in my personal opinion, the best one that you should start with. This is what gets this game right. The Gasha system in this game is so much better than any others I've played. So for example, maybe you're playing Dragon Ball Z Dokken Battle, and you really want that Super Vegito. You want that top tier item. Item? You want the top tier card, sorry. And 
you could spend thousands of dollars and you may never get him still. In this one, it's a little different and I love it. It's why I haven't spent a single dime on this game. Let's say you want the ultimate blue, the blue eyes ultimate dragon. I know, I know what the card says. Maybe you want him. Now, this normally starts with 200 packs. I've obviously like blown through 150 of them and, and I haven't gotten them. But the thing is, I'm guaranteed to get him within those 50 packs, which is so awesome. That is something so different and I haven't seen in a Gacha game. And, and, and even if I wanted another one, for some reason, I can reset the box and try all over again. I really haven't had the reason to do that. But you get a card and, and then boom, it's yours. You can't get more than what they offer. So if you want, uh, I don't know why you'd want like 10 Blue Eyes Ultimate Dragons. Maybe you do for some reason. You can just keep on resetting the box and getting it. The Neo Impact, I kind of skipped over Age of Discovery because I dislike it. It's a water deck. It has some decent cards. I'll kind of go over like... This card right here, if it would load, it's a, it's a good item. That's a good, why do I keep calling them items? It's a good card. It's a good card, guys. Um, Neo Impact is the newest one. It came out a couple weeks ago. And I'm sitting, I literally got the three cards I wanted. I wanted the Kaiser Seahorse, just so I could summon Blue Eyes White Dragon with just one monster. And then my Barrel Dragon, I can just use this guy. So the thing with this game is, it's so nostalgic for me because I used to play this all the time. I also got Mirrored Wall. Oh my goodness. 64 packs. It took me 64 packs and I haven't opened another one since. I've just been hoarding my hoarding my stones so I can do some summons. Ooh. But that's basically what this shop is for. Now, some more unvariable cards. Like, it's still a variable, but more of a more of a variety, I suppose. So in the store, you could or the shop, you could use your gems to get cards. Here, you're using your gold, you're using your jewels, and you're using stones. As you can see, I need 30,000 gold, I need three SR jewels, and I need 15 earth stones. And we have all that. I'm not gonna buy Obnoxious Celtic Guardian, but yo, his name is just Obnoxious Celtic Guard because his name's not long enough. I never realized that, never once, but you're wondering maybe how, how do I get the gold how do I get the stones how do I get the jewels and we'll go over that right now so in the card studio well we'll go over it in a second in the card studio we have the deck board which just gives you ideas to make decks I've never personally gone through any of this I really just like looking and trying to make my own deck for myself but you, the customization it's basically you can make like I've, I've summoned Dark Magician Girl a hundred times. I got her mat. Super cute. I know. I know. Don't, don't, like, I don't know, run me over because you want it also. Embodiment of something. I can never remember how to pronounce her name. Even the first recording, I messed it up. But if you get characters to level 10, you get their mats. Same thing with their card sleeves. Kind of like, back in the day, did you ever put your cards in, like, a sleeve? Because I know I did. It was, it's, it was fun. And no, I don't want, no. I need to have Dark Magician Girl. We then have the card catalog. I think I just like the transition from the deck board to the whatever the other one's called, the customization, flawless. The, I'm gonna post the first one because it was, it was a blooper. What happened was my recording sound was too low and the game volume was too high so you could barely hear me. I'll post that because it's a blooper, but this one is kinda, I want to show you what this game's about. So, with the card catalog and conversion, I was telling you at the card shop you need those jewels and stones. So maybe you're a couple stones short. Maybe you're maybe you're an SR jewel short. So we're gonna go over to the rarity, and you can kind of get a glimpse into what kind of cards I use. But let's say I have. Let's see. Here we go. Where's a card? What's a what's a card? I'm not gonna use two of Sasuke Samurai, which he's he's all right, but I'm not gonna use it. So I need an SR Jewel so I can get a card, maybe. So if we go and convert him, we'll be given an SR Jewel and a Stone of Wind because he's, his element is wind. And then, did I hit no? Yo, convert though. Thank you, thank you game. We've converted it, we got money, we got a Jewel. Maybe you need an, maybe you need an R Stone. Let's just scroll down, I'm gonna... I don't, I don't need six of these cards. Quill Pen of Guidos. I don't need any of them. I'm going to get rid of four of them. Convert it. 
There's your R jewel. There's some spell stones or stone of spell. Spell stones, that's Star Fox Adventure. Oh my goodness, that's a great game. But that's how you get those. And then you can use the trader. And then you're you're set. You're getting good cards. Finally, spoiler alert, if anyone doesn't want to know what characters you can unlock, you should skip ahead. Here we go, deck editor. You can get a glimpse into my deck. So, as you can see, I've gotten every character unlocked because I've been playing for a while, but... And I did have people ask, Garmin, well, Draxel, that's my Reddit name. Draxel, I picked Sato Kaiba, is that okay? I didn't pick Yami Yugi. The truth is, it doesn't matter. You're gonna unlock the other one, eventually. A couple, like, level 20, I think? I can't honestly remember. But you can get any of these guys, it's pretty awesome. Right now, like, as of 40 minutes of this recording, uh, Mako is my ultimate favorite, like, he was my main. I would take on anybody. As you can see, everyone's got copy of his deck. It has switched to Bandit Keith, of like, 40 minutes ago, but we'll talk about that in a different video. Um, also, Pegasus, he's an event character, so you may not be able to get him until he comes back around, which should probably be soon, to be fair to the American players, if no one else, like, went to and made an Australian ID like I did. All these other characters, they're just barred behind levels and other, like, set circumstances. Like, Ishizu, I think, is a hundred... Tribute summon a hundred light monsters. And I think Odeon's, like, a hundred and fifty or two hundred trap cards. I think we've covered everything in these eleven minutes. Oh, you, you guys wanted to see my deck, huh? Uh, it's not perfect. I play a very Blitz style. Get the match over with. I don't, I don't like to farm... I don't like to get the the win slowly, but I think we're gonna end off with a duel because in my bloopers I ended off with a duel, and I'm gonna I'm gonna duel. I dueled Odian in the blooper. I think I'm just gonna do Seto because I kind of need to beat Seto anyway. So let's go fight him on level 40. Oh, I skipped over something, didn't I? Yep, I sure did. I remembered. The blooper is so much better than this. <laughs> It's so much better than this, but you can't hear me, and it's embarrassing. So we're not, it's blooper. It's going to be all over the title. Step right up to get smacked down. You heard him. You know how to duel. This turn. video was Here a tutorial, basically. And I'm, I'm going to duel, and, and I'm going to try and keep the commentary up. But we'll see how good I that goes. As you can tell, I, I have some semi-decent cards. I'll go over what is active school Squill? His active skill Switcheroo does. So it lets me exchange one card in my hand and take it out for something I don't want. And now Blue Dragon Summoner is actually pretty good. I'm gonna keep him because I'm going to try and pull off a tribute summon. We gotta we gotta try. Also, I'm gonna make Flash Assailant just super strong. Here we go. We're just gonna keep on going. Every single card. I know I'm looking at my phone, but I could look on the screen, but then I know I'm gonna miss my freaking gonna miss the card and then it's gonna be embarrassing and then you guys are gonna be like what the heck is he doing I end my turn without attacking because I'm a big dumb idiot I was gonna I was gonna destroy him but I forgot so that's a lot of attacks sir oh did you want to attack we're not gonna let him attack and then I think I'm also going to put on Metal More. Just to, you know, sweeten the pot. Get the get the little damages done. Also in the last in the bloopers, I did so well against Odeon. It was amazing. It was super, super good. So now it's gonna ask me to get rid of Mirrored Wall, which I will do. I don't wanna pay two that's half my life points. I can't cost that. We're just gonna buff up Flash Assailant as much as we can. This man, this man is too strong. Get out of here. Oh, that's why. I had, like, in my head, I internalized. Why didn't I attack? Was it because I was an idiot? I knew it was going to be enemy controller. If you didn't know, that was a lie. I don't think he's going to... Oh, okay. You jerk. That's great. That's just a good, that's a good, that's, you know what, skip over this duel, it's awful, I've already, I've already lost. This is actually, like, ideal, so, uh, he's level, he is a three star, but, 
Oh, you know what? Screw it. I'm just gonna... Now that I've gotten these two cards, I don't even want the freaking Ladybug. We'll just go and get a... Probably double cost on. He's pretty good. He is pretty good. And now if any of you guys want to duel me, you guys are going to know what my deck's all about. And you're going to whoop my ass. And I'm going to be like, man, I shouldn't have done that video. I can't remember if I brought it up. But the next series will be made on a brand new account. I think I brought this up. I'm going to be starting over. And that way we can all play along together. And... And I can show you how to fast level up your missions. Like, I, I've gotten to level 40 in... It was probably a little less than the month. I just kind of had a period where I didn't play. Why? You just... You keep doing that. You just keep banishing my monsters. I can't use this card because it would kill me, which sucks. So I'm going to like, try and get the win. I'm going to eke out that win, baby. I'm really nervous he's about to pull off another, like, I'm going to banish your monster, but I don't think he's going to. He did. This man. Yeah, okay, well, throw him away. I don't care. I know you end your turn. I hope the audio is working this time. Bro, I would have loved to use Barrel Dragon, but, you know, sadly, you took out all my monsters. Just, just end the battle. I'm done. I'm so done. This video has gone on far too long. Let's see what we get. So, now that we've defeated Kaiba, we can go over what you're supposed to do. You're not, you're not supposed to do what I did. Don't just go for the win. You should probably try and farm his points. So, as you can see, for the assessment, we're trying to get as many, like, 1,000s as you can. Obviously, I, I didn't do that well. So, you can get it by destroying monsters, by dueling, dueling dealing over 3,000, 4,000, 5,000 damage, like 10,000 I think is the cap maybe, or 9999, um, and you just get rewards, it's, it's fun. You kind of want to save your keys though, don't do, just, don't just, you know, go to the legendary duelist, which is what I forgot to talk about. So as you can see, there's level 10, 20, 30, 40, and level 30, people will go and say, Yugi, he's got Dark Magician. I gotta get him. I gotta fight him at level 30. I would personally say don't. Maybe wait till level 40. So when you go to level 30, you can see he... There's like, what? Six times five? There's 30 cards you could win. That's like one in 30. Plus, Dark Magician's already really difficult to get. If you wait until you unlock level 40 to duel, there's only 10 cards. That means you've now increased your chance from one in 30 to one in 10. 10% is much better than what is 5 2.5% if there's 30 cards. That's not the right math It's like 3% if there's 30 cards 3 times 30 is 90 is like 3.5. I know how to math But you can unlock all these characters and, and you can get their cards But if you level wait you level if you wait until level 40 I can't wait to post this and the blooper up at the same time It's gonna be so good. Just wait till the level 40 it's easier to farm level 40. The duels may be harder, but if you can get the win, it's so much sweeter. Honestly. I think that's all. We did a duel. I went through everything. If you want to add me and duel me on my personal account, YouTube Darman, you know. You know how to find me. Just go and duel me. So, I think that's it. Thank you for watching my, like really awful third attempt at recording this if you like this don't forget to like comment and subscribe and share with your friends if they like to duel or if this video entertained you or helped you it may help them either way thank you guys for watching and stay tuned we'll be back with like a brand new account bye